Hi, Facebook friends. Welcome back. I said, I thought about it and thought about it yesterday and last night, and I said, I have to come back. I have to redo this live because the words were not flipped so you could see them. So the title, you could not read the titles, and I had to come back and just absolutely redo that so you could read the titles hey norma hey holly thanks for watching holly if you notice anything that is off or not right please let me know and if you want to comment on any of the books holly that and authors that you have uh, that you know about comment and i'll uh, read those out and so anyway so just to do a tester we're going to start with um yesterday like I said, was a, a live unboxing of new items here at the Electro Public Library. My name is Kim, and uh, welcome. I'm, uh, I hope uh, whoever's logging on um, will enjoy um, seeing these books. Even if, Norma, I know that you watched it yesterday, so I hope that you enjoy watching it the correct um filming way this today Hi, hey sarah good to see you or good to you know see you on facebook anyway <laughs> so uh, glad that you're watching and uh, the books that i'll be going over today the titles are mostly adult fiction and non-fiction i have a few um extra um like uh, I have maybe I don't know two or three titles that are easy and one um, I'm going to show today that I didn't show yesterday um, is uh, some donations that were given to us that were that are really nice books so they're new to us and they'll be new to you even though they're not brand new so I want to show those and then at the end of uh, going uh, showing these items um, a rebox a how can I say that a re unboxing <laughs> after the re unboxing I will also I have a little bonus to go over some um, materials that we have here that I wanted to show so um, anyway uh, hey Kayla how are you doing so glad you're on here so here we go we're gonna start with some historicals I I don't know why, but I just got into ordering historicals <laughs> on this order, and and I have a lot from this one particular author. Um, so it's a series, and um, so I'm going to start with it. And I don't have them in order; they've not been cataloged yet, and so uh, we've not got the order. And I don't know. The dates are on here, but I've not taken the time to put the dates uh, in uh, chronological order. So, anyway, bear with me. We're gonna go. I'm gonna show you some books by Jenny Dye. Holly, can you read that title? There's a delay. Hold on. Quite a bit of a delay. <laughs> She's having a delay, so I'm having to wait just a minute. I'm just gonna check this. Let me get to the right. You're good. You're good. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my camera just a tad bit. Am I am I straight there? Or is it looking a little oh god? <laughs> so okay. So here we go. Oh, I don't know why, but when I go here, it, it's the opposite lot. of me. So I have to remember that it's opposite of me. So Jenny, uh, Jenny die, and here's one of the historical um, series, Walking into the Unknown, 1867 to 1868, the Bragdon Chronicles, and they're all in this one series. So um, here we go. On to Richmond. I gotta find my camera, guys. Always forward. And, and something about these books, if you like historicals, 
What is awesome about these books is they are large print. So they're, they're not the largest print you can get, but they're, so they're kind of like a medium, an in between a large and a small print book. And I really, I really like this. Very, very readable if you wear glasses or you have, you know, any type of eyesight problems. So look into the future. Storm, storm clouds rolling in. Misty shadows of hope. Dark chaos. The Last Long Night, Spring Will Come, Glimmers of Change, Shifted by the Winds, so uh, give me a thumbs up if you can read these titles just double checking <laughs> okay so what it was yesterday I you're supposed to um, hit the icon that does the horizontal flip before you begin your live so and I did not do that so um, trying to remember everything I'm supposed to remember when I do these things so <laughs> anyway um, carry forward by hope Courage Rising, Renewed by Dawn, Shining Through Dark Clouds, okay, and there may be, oh no, here's another one, uh, Horizons Unfolding, and then the, the one where she wrote about her life, The Twisted Road of one writer so um, there may be more I may have missed some I tried to put them all together but if not I um, could come across some more there's quite a few books here uh, the Netflix uh, series uh, season of storms and okay and this is well I don't really know how these go actually to be honest with you let's see let me kind of look at them well, they all say the novel of the witcher so i guess that's the name of the title so uh so we'll just start and these are not in this series is not in order either so the lady of the lake so you guys who like um some fantasy, here you go. And some action, here you go. A Legend is Born, Season of Storms. And has anybody watched this series before? Do you like it? <laughs> the Tower of Swallows. And then I have a two set here that came together. Sword of Destiny and the Last Wish. So, if, or if you know someone who likes a fantasy and adventure, and there's probably a little romance in there too, uh, send them our way. If they don't have a library card, all they have to do is um, bring an ID, such as their driver's license, and a second um, second information like a mailing uh, that has your or, or your current address on it. So. Now, I, I'm going to
gonna go over, uh, well, here's a standalone, The Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany. So there's a fiction, another fiction there. And we have some, we already have some of the, the Dewberry Farm um, books here. So I'm gonna go through some of those and let's see. I love the covers on these, on these books. They did an awesome job. Deadly Brew. Wicked Harvest. And then I have some, uh, okay, well, here's another one. Dying Season. And then we have um, uh, the Snug Harbor Mysteries. So, and I may have some of these too, and because in my list I don't remember, but I usually try to add to my series that we already have here. So, um, and I can always, if I don't have more, I can always um, get more. So, a killer ending. These have great illustrations too. And, and now this is a great well in mystery. Scone Cold Dead. Let me hold it straight for you. <laughs> Anchored In. Claws for Harm. Alarm. Four Seasons of Mystery. And now, um, Karen, the author Karen uh, McEnery, she has also um, wrote a Dewberry Farm Mysteries Recipes book. So this is awesome. So if you like to cook, <laughs> And you like these books you like these mysteries this would be you'll have to let me know check them out and try some of these recipes okay let's see now I have several from Stuart, uh, Stuart Woods he's adventure um, twist and turns so if you if you like that kind of thing that kind of genre um, come and check one of these out um, Michelle, would, it'll take her a little time to get these in, um, but she's usually pretty fast. So give us, a, you know, about a week, week and a half to start getting these in. And, um, but if, you, if you're wanting to check any of these out, just comment um, below the title. We're, we will reserve those for you. Hey, Nikki, can you read the title? <laughs> Can you read this title? <laughs> I think I did it right this time. <clears throat> so Stuart Woods, hush hush. Can you comment below, Nikki? Let me know so you that you can read this title because. I would hate to have to do this again. <laughs> you all are going to get sick of seeing me. <laughs> okay, so anyway, while I'm waiting for you to call me, I'm going to go on. And the hit list. Choppy water. And that's a Stone Barrington novel. Actually, all three of those were. I think all of these are. Shake Up. A little bit of glare. We've got 
not quite sunshine out here, but it's much brighter than it was yesterday. <laughs> oh, yay, Nikki, yay, yay. <clears throat> Treason. And then our James Patterson, the Russian. More action books. He usually has a little romance in his too. Deadly Cross. Why is he cat? <laughs> he he's a I like James Patterson. Okay, and um, for you patrons who have been waiting for the latest Janet Ivanovich book, Fortune and Glory. And this is part of, it's a Stephanie Plum novel, so part of that series. Okay, let's see what else I got. Now I'm going to show, let's see. Well, I'll show some more, some more fiction here in just a minute. Let me get to that box. There's a, I'm running out of room here. Let me move some of these books, okay? Give me just a minute. Okay. Here is one of my children's books, Nesting. And it has all the illustrations are black and white, except for, let's see, well, when it shows the egg. And it's all about robins. So, honestly, it could. I think be considered a, a nonfiction as well. But they, uh, Ingram has put it in uh, the fiction section. So there's a little bit of blue sky. I love these illustrations. There's, there's a, actually a lot of detail. I don't know. Can you see there? Huh. <laughs> yeah, sneaky snake there. Uh, see, somebody ha has asked. Uh, do you have all the Stephanie Plum series series books? And Holly has says yes, we do have all of that series, and we have a lot of people who really like that series. So, and I think there's quite a few books in that series too. And just to show you one more, so the sky is blue in this uh, book, and um, the eggs. The eggs are blue. Oh, there we go. Blue egg. So, and I'm a bird watcher, so I just kind of, it's kind of a new hobby I've started when I just want to kind of decompress and relax and, you know, forget about the troubles of the day. And I like to sit and watch the birds come and eat their supper. <laughs> so, this is uh, a really nice book. And a lot of learning information in here. And there's author notes at the end. Uh, and it says, American robins can be found in backyards and gardens all across North America. So, you know, adults may want to check this book out. And then read it to your little one. So, I think you would enjoy it too. So, and then here are some nonfiction books, a comparison of the four major organized religions of the world, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism. Oh, you need to kind of turn up the volume. Oh, yeah, let, Holly says I need to turn up the volume. Let me see if that helps. Is that helping? Can you guys hear me better? I've actually, uh, I'm ordering today a microphone, so, um, okay, that's better, Holly says. Um, I'm actually ordering a microphone, because I kind of have a low voice, and I forget to turn up the volume, so that's another thing I've got to remember. So, and I'm trying to project my voice so you can hear me better. <laughs> um, let's see. Holly, uh, see, Sarah, uh, Sarah says there are 27 of the Plum series. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. 
Green Lights. This is a nonfiction of Matthew McConaughey. And now these are, I think, uh, nonfiction. Ja uh, this is by Jamie Grace, Finding Quiet. And it's my journey to peace in an anxious world. And I think with COVID and everything that's going on now, this would be a great read right now. So, um, and then also how happiness happens. This would be a great one too right now. Comparison Girl. Lessons from Jesus on me, free living in a measure up world by Shannon Popkin. So, and it's true. We, you know, with social media and everything, it's hard not to compare yourself to others. So this, I think, would be a great read. And Vessels of Fire and Glory by Perry Stone, or a forward by Perry Stone. I have several of you who like to read Perry Stone, so that's one of the new ones. And I think I have another one in this collection as well. Okay, so this has to do with uh, elementary school. Um, so this will be great for our homeschoolers and to help our parents, you know, just to make sure your child is where they need to be. Um, what your preschooler needs to know, get ready for kindergarten. What your kindergartner needs to know. What your first grader needs to know. do these in order. What your second grader needs to know. What your third grader needs to know. What your fourth grader needs to know. what your fifth grader needs to know, and what your sixth grader needs to know. All right, so uh, teachers, uh, homeschool moms, and just moms in general, or parents, grandparents, guardians, um, check these out to, uh, to help your, um, your child. Make sure they're on track. Okay, so I'm going to box a few of these back up so I can make myself a little room here. If you'll give me just a minute. Our hours, if you don't know, um, are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 to 5, and on Saturday, 9 to 1. If you don't have a card, come in, bring an ID, bring a piece of mail that has your current address on it, and we will get you set up with a card. Also, um, if we don't, uh, if you like to download your books to read or read them online, uh, you can um, download the free Overdrive app or the free Libby app. It will take you to um, the Reads site, and you just plug in your uh, library, the library name, Luttrell, give us the credit, okay, and your library card, and then you can download magazines, ebooks, aud um, audio books, if you like to listen to audios, and we do have audios here in, uh, in-house, so, um, but sometimes, um, we have, um, the, our, the Clinch River region, libraries share um, on re 
needs. So there are tons more books that we can have. We, we have limited space here. So we can have more books online. So, and more copies of books. And um, there's a, um, some, you can set your options to, um, for 14 days, you can renew, or you can set it for 28 days. Um, and so, and there's, there's um, a children's section on there as well, a young adult section. So, I know, uh, you know, some of our um, the new generations, they really like to, uh, to use their devices. So you can download on a computer, laptop, um, a tablet, iPad, your phone, and uh, whether it's Android or an iPhone. So, but anyway, so let's get to our next box here. Let me finish. I got to, sometimes I, I just can't talk and do two things at one time. So let me just finish getting these books in and I'll move this next book over or next box over I should say okay so here we go a lot of books there okay so another Perry Stone Angels Among Us some nonfiction now here is um, Leah and Tyler if you haven't watched um, the Q&A with Leanne, she's a local author. Um, she, we have, I think with these, we have all of, all of her books now. And um, she's a great author. Um, we have a, many who check her out. I love her writing and her writing style. Um, so if you like a little romance, this is her more romantic, um, genre here. So that's Chicago Protection Task Force series, Wyatt, and then Loverboy. So this is her more, her more romantic. So if you want to check those out, come on in. Our Darkest Night. This is a fiction story, and this is uh, also a historical, a novel of Ital Italy and the Second World War. World War. Let me say that correctly. You see that guys so and then here is another nonfiction UVU by Jamie Ivy and why and um, why satisfaction and success are closer than you think and then a bad day for sunshine sunshine this is fiction And I try to get, you know, the, the most popular. I look to see from the New York Times what the most popular books are. And I try to grab um, all of those that I can. Here's another James Patterson. Till murder do us part. So, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Nicholas Sparks, The Return. So they have a lot of movies on, on TV. I'm going to straighten this camera just a tiny bit. Okay. I feel like I'm just crooked or something. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Um, yeah, they've made a lot of uh, movies out of his books. And I, I prefer to read the book first and then watch the movie. And then I do my comparison. Um, most of the time, I'm going to say 98% uh, of the time, they are spot on with the, um, with the story, with the book. So, um, I have been told, because I have not read The Notebook, even though I love the movie, I, I have not read the book yet. And I do want to read it, even though it's not my natural order, but, um... I, I did hear that the movie had more details, or they I guess they added more details to the movie. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. If any of you guys know, comment below. Tell me your uh, what you think about that. 
Made to Flourish by Beth Moore, Cultivating an Abundant Life. I love Beth Moore. She's a great speaker. Um, love her stuff. So, let's see what else. The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. This is a fiction. The Mystery of Mrs. Christie by Marie Benedict. Let's see. Here is a nonfiction I almost canceled showing up when fear tells you to stay home. I think this would be another great read during this COVID pandemic. Jessica Betancourt. Um, Christianity and World Religions, an introduction to the wor world's major faiths by Derek Cooper. Does anybody else have trouble saying the, wor the word world? <laughs> it's just hard to say. I get tongue tied on that every time. All right, so here we go. In the City, one of my, another easy. By Chris Rasha. And I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly. But some um, some really neat um, illustrations. And I like I like the country. I I like the city, so I appreciate both for what they each offer. And so I really I really like this book here. And another easy that I have. I love my teacher. So if you're in, this one has great illustrations too. Very, very big. I love that. Love it. I love their style. And that's by um, Giles Andrea and Emma Dodd, if I have pronounced their names correctly. So if you're still watching, comment below. Let me know you're still on here because I can't really, um, the comments, they move up. So I can't really see who's still on here unless maybe if I look at my phone, just kind of like to know who's still with me. Well, I can't really, I don't know. I can't really tell on my phone either. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, okay. It doesn't really tell me or show me. So if you're still on here, you know, say, hey, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, we have Stuart Woods, A Delicate Touch. Another action with twists and turns. And then this is a series um, called 1001, I guess that's the name of the series, uh, 1001 Dark Nights. Um, that's the name of the series. So, a chart, and it's saying, I don't really know, because they, they each say something different uh, on a subtitle. Uh, one is The Graveyard Shift, a Charlie Davison novella. Quiet Man, a Dream Man novella. Blood Knight, a Crew of Hunters novella. Dragon Lost, a Dark Kings novella. So I don't know if there's subseries in the 1001 Dark Knight series, possibly. Uh, we'll have to look that up and find out. Um, I hope some of you come check some of those out. Let us know how you liked them if you would like for me to order more. 
And then I have a trilogy here. Um, Grish Verse Shadow and Bone Trilogy by um, Lee Bard Bardugo. Let's see. Siege and Storm. Shadow and Bone. And it also says this is a, a Netflix as well. Has anybody watched this? Do you, hey, thanks Sarah for letting me know you're still on here. <laughs> Have you seen any of these um, Netflix series that I've been showing? And then the, uh, the last one of this trilogy is Run and Rising. If you, if you know what it's about, you know, give me a little comment. I'll read that out there. <laughs> okay, so um, I wanted to um, show some, uh, th these are a couple of donations. So these are new to me books, even though they're not brand spanking new, they're in very good condition. Uh, oh, thanks, Nikki. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, the Girl Who Lived. So, I love the cover of this. And this is a mystery thriller series. So, I will have to see if we have more in this series. And if not, I will get the other um, the other books that go with it. Because I've, I've got to do another order. So, and if there's any books or authors that you are looking for... Um, post it in the comments and I'll be sure to get those. Uh, Holly says that the novellas go along with the Charlie Davison series. Okay, by, and I'm not really sure how to pronounce her name. Um, I don't know. I'm not even going to try. Jones is her last name though. So, uh, and that was this, uh, these here. Nope. No, no, no. Wait a minute. That's a different series. What series was that? The Charlie Davison one? Oh, okay. This one. So they're each their own series. Okay. Okay. So I'll have to look into ordering the other books in the series that are available. So in this, uh, The Girl Who Lived is by Christopher Grayson. If you've read him, Comment below and let me know what if you like this author. I don't know. I love the, the cover. Really makes it, really draws me in. Makes me want to read that book. So, um, we had, I've had a program where um, the kids from um, the school next door come over. And so, they, they have a sheet to um, complete where they look for books that do not have good covers and they read what it's about and the synopsis and and then write you know the book that did not have a good cover title down that they thought that they would like to read and then they um, and then it'll, it has other things like the book with a good um, title page or a cover page um, that they would like to read and um, the book with the first paragraph that was interest, interesting to them that made them want to continue reading the book they would write that title down it was just different things like that so but and I would have I would have stations set up of different genres of books and they would go through and and fill out their their little sheet so that that was a fun activity and another donation this is a young adult and it's um called peeps a novel by scott westerfield so that was donated by one of our our um patrons who reads a lot <laughs> He, that's that is like his hobby so is reading which I think is pretty awesome 
Um, okay, so now I said I would have a bonus at the end. I wanted to talk about, um, and some of these books, uh, some of these titles, I just got in a couple of them, I think. Um, but the others I've had in, and um, I wanted to talk to you about coming in. You can come in as a small group so you can spread out in the community room and do these um, studies together. You could check them out, do them from your home, um, do them from church. Um, they're just they're just awesome studies. So um, anyway, I wanted to show these. So this is my little bonus here at the end of my live. Um, so, and, and there's more each, um, each book. I have several, so you can uh, eat. So if you're doing it as a group, everybody has a book to take home do their homework and but this is good homework so this is um, homework that'll make you feel good and homework that'll relax you it's it's you know it would be something you want to do um so everybody in the group can take it home so the first one is sheila walsh um the shelter of god's promises And then also by her, The Longing in Me. Another one by Sheila Walsh, In the Middle of the Mess. I just love her title. <laughs> okay, and here is another one. Um, and some of these do have videos with them. And I have videos with some of them, and some of them I'm still working on getting those videos. So, um, this is Finding Freedom, an eight-week journey recapturing your identity, faith, and body image. That sounds like a really good study. And this one by Beth Moore, The Quest, an excursion toward int intimacy with God. We have show, the case for Christ, and uh, we've done that study here at the library before the pandemic, and it was really, really good and, and really interest, interesting to um, hear everyone's views and points of views and everything. So, um, but we have the the answer book, <laughs> or or an answer book. Um, this is the official movie study guide and we do have the we do have the DVDs that go with these we have the movie but we also have uh, the one the study guide uh, DVD and then of course the book that we we were reading along with it um, by Lee Strobel the case for Christ and then another one by Beth Moore and I've done this personally at home um, the journey um, breaking free the journey the stories so in th this particular uh, book is the leader guide and then everyone it, you know and you can do it individually but if you have a group or two or three or um, I have I think of each of these books I have anywhere from um, two to six books so and I can always get more if you have a group up to six. So, and everyone would have this one to take home. I would ask you to not write in these so that they can be reused and you can use your own paper and write your notes in your own paper. Um, but this, that's a really good study. You'll learn about kings and all kinds of history doing that study there. Um, Entrusted, a study of Second Timothy by Beth Moore. And I actually think I have some more that I did not pull down. Now that it just hit me. But anyway, so as you can see, I have several. So I would, 
would really love for everyone to take advantage of these. Um, this is the new one, um, Beth Moore. Let me take off my notes here. Uh, Chasing Vines. And it, we have a DVD that goes with it. And of course, the book that goes with it. So, um, that is one of our new studies. And then this one, I read this one yesterday. Um, that, and, oh, Holly, while it's on my brain. The F1 book, do you have that up there with you? Because I do not have it, but I read it as, no, it's not F1. Say I did it again. It's FI, Financial Independence is what it stands for. And I read it as F1 yesterday. And I'm going to get Holly to bring that back to me because I believe she's got it because we had a customer waiting on that one. Um, but while I'm waiting on that one to show, um, now that, and I read this one, you see that there? I thought it was an FL. And I was like, because after I read it, I was thinking in my mind, what is, what is she talking about? Because that is still spelled wrong. <laughs> and then I looked at it uh, once the live was over and I was like, that's an H. That's not an FL. So now that now that faith has come, a study of Galatians. <laughs> I'm reading the title correctly to you guys. But anyway, so um, I hope that you've enjoyed these. Hey, Holly. I think she's on the phone. Hey, Holly. Thank you very much. But I, I hope that you have enjoyed seeing these books and being able to actually read the titles. No, I had it, but I couldn't see it because it was behind the box. Thank you very much. FI, not F1, FI. Choose financial independence. So we had we have a patron that was waiting on this one. So Holly got um, cataloged that one in so he could come pick it up. So anyway, uh, it was great um, kind of seeing everyone, <laughs> seeing everyone on Facebook. Thanks for joining me. Again, this is Lectural Public Library. Uh, I'm Kim. And uh, if any of these titles you want to check out, comment below. We will definitely reserve those for you. If, if there was something here, an author or a title that I didn't have, I didn't show and we don't have it already have it on the shelf comment below I will try my very best to either order or get that uh, material to you from the ILF and that is where we uh, we borrow from uh, other libraries so anyway uh, <laughs> thanks for joining and we'll see you guys on the next one bye